I'm going to tell you something that you should never do with wine. Ciao a tutti, benvenuti sul mio canale e bentornati. Hi everyone, my name is David, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who have been following me, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to look at a few words here in Italian that you can use when you eat out and how to say them correctly. Drop me a like if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Ah, by the way, my channel has just passed over 200 subscribers. So those of you who have been following me, thank you very much. Cominciamo. Okay, so this first one actually is a bit comical and it's a direct response to one of the comments that I got in my previous video and this pertains to wine. This wine in particular is called Nero d'Avola and it comes from the town of Avola in Sicily. Now even though my wife is Sicilian, I'm not biased, I liked this wine long before I met her. But the point of this part of the video is that I'm going to tell you something that you should never do with wine. You should never put ice in your wine. Now, I am far from a wine connoisseur. Uh, there are certain wines that I like, but what I do know is that you just should not put ice in the wine. And the reason being is that as the ice melts, it dilutes the wine and it just ruins the taste. It's like, you know, breaking up a nice symphony. This next one pertains to an Italian sandwich, or as you probably know it, panini. In reality, when you say panini, you're actually saying sandwiches, plural. So, if there's two of you and you want to order a sandwich, you would simply say due panini, per favore. However, if it's just for yourself, then all you need to say is un panino, a sandwich. That's it. I like panini because when I'm out and I just want a cheap, inexpensive, simple lunch, then the best place to go for that would be a salumeria, and that means a deli, pretty much. Because you can also get them in a grocery store, or if you happen to see um, a shop or a store on the side of the road that sells maybe even um, slices of pizza, they may also have panini. Please be aware that here in Italy, like most food portions, then the panino is probably going to be a little bit um, smaller than what you're used to. Smaller in the sense that here in Italy, they tend to give you uh, more bread and less filling. That's just what they do here. This next one here has caused even more confusion than the previous one, and that is the famous, I'll use the American pronunciation, pepperoni. If you order a pepperoni pizza here in Italy, this is going to cause some confusion, and let me explain why. Because the word pepperoni, with two Ps, it sounds like the Italian word peperone, with one P, and this means a pepper in Italian. So if you are looking for a pizza with pepperoni, then you want to ask for a pizza diavola, and that is a pizza with hot salami. By the way, in English we say salami, but in reality you want to say salame, because salami in Italian is something plural. This last one is something that I mentioned in a previous video, but I think it needs mention again. And this is the famous cannoli. Now you'll notice how I said it, I said cannoli. And much like my previous example with the salami, this is something that is plural. So if you want more than one, you would say due cannoli, okay? If you just want one, you would say un cannolo, per favore. Now I realize that there are many people of Italian origin, and also of not of Italian origin, uh, who have said a cannoli, you know, for many years, and that's fine, you know, I'm. I'm I'm not here to change the whole world, but just be aware that if you come here and you want to order just one, then make sure you say it correctly, un cannolo. For this week's expression, let's say that you are in a salumeria or just some place that makes panini, and you want to ask for just one of them. So you would say this, mi fa un panino per favore? And you're simply saying, can you make me a sandwich, please? After they make the panino, they are probably going to ask you if you want something else. And you might hear this, poi, altro, and that yeah, that just means, do you want anything else? And to this you can simply say, va bene così, grazie, that'll do. If you want to leave a good impression before you go, then you can say two things. You can say, buona giornata, which simply means have a nice day, and you can also say, buon lavoro. This is one of my favorite expressions in Italian because I don't really think it exists in English. Um, but in essence, you're telling the person, uh, have a good day at work, something to that effect. Literally, it means good work. All right, so that's going to do it for this week's video. Really hope you liked it, and I hope you got some good tips and also some good linguistic tips for when you come here to Italy. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already, and also make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for more of David's Doses of Italy. Also, let me know in the comments to know what you thought about today's video, and also if you have found yourself in these situations before here in Italy. 
Grazie per l'attenzione. Ci vediamo alla prossima. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.